right, so uh, I'll be presenting a project uh, our team has been working in the last four years. Um, and uh, so the, the yellow network protocol, this is a, a DeFi protocol. And I think we have um, an innovative approach here. Um, next slide. Should I do the next slide or I do it myself, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Um, so what's the common biggest fear in when trading crypto? And um, we already know the answer, you know, between uh, DEXs and centralized exchange, it's mainly the, what we call the counterparty risk. Uh, so the hacks, the scams, the, the rug pull. Um, but at this stage, we can say that in uh, crypto, the consumer protection does not exist yet until now uh, because we are launching the yellow protocol very soon and this should the, the vision is to help any DeFi uh, and trading participant to uh, make better consumer protection and deal with counterparty risk so reducing it so what is yellow uh, first this is an ERC20 token it's a uh, it's a utility token similar to Ethereum gas, and uh, it's fueling another network that is not a blockchain. Uh, this is more similar to the Lightning network. This is a, an overlay network um, supercharging all existing blockchains. Um, so the, the, the overlay network, so this is implementing a decentralized clearing protocol. And as a reminder for those who don't know, I pulled the Wikipedia definition here. So um, basically clearing is everything that has that is happening between the trade to the settlement. Um, so in traditional finance, you don't prepay your trades. Um, you don't deposit the funds before. Uh, making your trades, you just open a trading account with a collateral and you pay your trades after. And there is a lot of optimization uh, here. And I can say that, you know, clearing is the secret sauce that has been uh, scaling traditional finance to the planetary scale as we know it, to the trillion dollar market and mainstream without blockchain. So, you know, they had horrible... Uh, environment because they didn't have the chance of having blockchain and surprisingly we don't uh, use clearing in uh, crypto um, so to introduce a little more about um, yellow network so yellow network again is a an overlay network sitting on top of every blockchain and it's a high frequency uh, clearing network so you could Think of it a bit like Visa or Swift, but here we are clearing not payments, we are clearing trades, basically. Um, so there is many benefits in simply clearing or using smart contract-based clearing. So it's capital efficient by design. Uh, obviously, all Wall Street, I mean, all traditional finance uses it because it's capital efficient. Uh, it's more capital efficient than settling all every trade every, every time you have a trade. Um, the approach we use is using state channel and makes it infinitely scalable. We don't have a blockchain. We don't have consensus uh, bottleneck here. Uh, we have a reduced latency. Um, so, you know, for example, Binance is in Tokyo. At any point on the globe, you will take about 200 milliseconds to get there. And um, with our decentralized approach, you can just connect to the nearest uh, broker on the network. This is fully non-custodial uh, in a way that the, the customer is never handing over his uh, uh, asset before the settlement. So we are drastically lowering the counterparty risk. So not much chance or risk uh, of having unsettled trade because it's insured by the clearing house. Um, the main benefit here that we like the most is uh, the ability through you know, this overlay network to unify fragmented liquidity. So there is all of these pockets of liquidity in different L2s. By making L2s, I think we did the environment worse. I think it's necessary though. 
but the fragmentation is, you know, at, at the worst level we ever experienced. And um, I would say, you know, our goal, our idea here is to not move what we should not be moving. So we're not moving the pockets of liquidity. We are um, reaching them. Overall, um, I'm very passionate about scaling Ethereum ecosystem, and um, this is a, a good example of a technology that can bring a lot of decongestion on L1, L2s. Um, and, um, and I think you know, we need the bandwidth for other more valuable transactions, such as settlements. Please note, you have one minute left. Okay, then I will. Uh, so, do I have time left for the demo? Uh, depends. How long does it take, uh, Luis? I would need at least two. I, it depends if you guys want to see it. All right, I am giving you one more minute uh, just because you are doing an amazing job. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, let's uh, switch directly to the demo. I think you know you guys heard enough, and let's see a bit this in action. So, if you can just click play on the demo, and yes. I will be commenting. Okay, so this is a terminal. This is more for you know uh, testnet users uh, excited to join and reach the early days of the yellow network. Uh, so this is a desktop application you can download on Mac OS X and other platform. You can see here a bunch of broker nodes already uh, connected on the network. So these are access points you can connect to. Uh, here, the user is selecting uh, MetaMask, so he's going to be connecting first his wallet to the terminal. And then um, we will see the user opening a trading channel to a selected broker. So the reason for choosing uh, a given broker would be by locality. Um, so for example, the closest broker to you or eventually the one offering the most cost consumer protection, so is regulated in your country. So here we see the user is going for Germany, and he's going to be selecting, you know, a retail trading package, and Prime would be, you know, more for B2B uh, trading volume. So today, this is on uh, testnet, uh, we're working with Linear. And so this is something uh, you, can, you guys can join our testnet uh, these days. So here we see that um, he's looking at the connection configuration. So basically, he's configuring the collateral um, on the state channel. So this is establishing the state channel with the counterpart. He's signing you know, this uh, transaction. So I would like to mention that uh, we support um, abstract account natively. But the demo you see in here is using classic uh, web free MetaMask wallet. Um, so here the connection is established with the broker. And that's a bit like I open my uh, margin account with my broker and he's going to give me access to all markets. And so here we are talking about spot market, but unified liquidity of assets that are cross chain. So all of these assets are visible, uh, I would say, in, a, in the order book. The demo user is making a couple of trades. So you have a very you know, perpetual DEX user experience. Uh, but um, this is more for demo purposes because we are not launching an exchange. We are in the clearing business. Uh, so our business model here, uh, our position is to help brokers building their own trading platform. So what I would call a uh, crypto brokerage. I'm sure I'm way over my minute. Uh, indeed so. Thank you so much, uh, Luis. It was quite refreshing to see an actual um, demo instead of only pitch decks. Uh, I see we have one question from Hugo May from Polka Starter. What is the biggest innovation in state channels the last few years that had made the technology more viable relative to the current roll-up obsessed industry? So, yeah, for me, I would say, you know, I'm, I would like to mention and give the heads up to DeFi protocol, which are, I would say, yellow is not 
replacing the DeFi environment, uh, but supercharging. So our main um, focus is making trading off-chain fast um, and uh, accessing all of the markets. So simplifying this for the user, they don't want to navigate bridge and those kinds of things. Uh, so it's kind of, you know, the problem of blockchain of like centralized users and decentralized users. Um, but maybe, you know, the best, uh, I think, technology that really helped us by uh, magnitude is uh, the evolution of um, smart accounts or abs account abstraction. Uh, this totally changed, I would say, the way um, you use the terminal and you get your, you, you constantly get your settlement into your cross-chain wallet. And this is just a great user experience. And this really saved us uh, a lot of research time. Oh, got it. Thank you for clarifying. Also from Thanks my you. side, um, DeFi uh, security gaps in DeFi remain quite a big uh, challenge. So how do you tap into these challenges? Um, that's that's a good question. So I mean, I'm a bit of a um, security nerd myself, and uh, I would say you know uh, you can't audit everything, and you there will be always like exploit and issues. And so my principle of security is simplify the vector of attack. So just simplify the protocol at the most essential. In our case for yellow, the state channel are extremely simple smart contracts. Um, use what works. So Uniswap or you know, uh, things that have been battle tested. And I would say finally, be resilient to failure. So hacks are going to happen, just you don't want to have a catastrophic cascading hack, right? So you don't want something to have a single point of failure and withdraw all your assets uh, from your network. So in our case, we are extremely decentralized in the way that if you want to hack the yellow network, you need to hack all of the brokers of the yellow network. I mean, if you want to get access to all. So you... You may be able to, you know, attack uh, some region or some locality, or you may, you know, attack a specific uh, DeFi protocol interaction with Yellow. But uh, uh, I think distributing um, distributing is a great way to segregate the risk. Got it. And are you currently audited or aiming to be audited uh, on the short term? So the roots of the project, uh, we're working with, you know, the Filecoin guys on State Channel. Uh, so they've been on it uh, at least four years like us. We're working on it with uh, consensus. Uh, so we are constantly audited. We're writing academic paper. You can find online on statechannel.org. Uh, and the auditors, I would say it's a regular practice we need to do. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much for clarifying. Uh, we also have a premium partner on board today, Hacken. So if you seek to get in touch with the team, hit me up. I can get you a 50% discount. <laughs> we know each other very well. Uh, we are both in uh, Ukraine in Kiev. So. Got it. Well, considering everything, we're also out of time. Uh, Luis, thank you for your remarkable showcase and thank wish you, you a great day. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. Take care.